Modeling, Topic 11, Default Adjusted Bond Returns, Section 3. We're going to use matrix algebra to create an n period transition matrix. So we're going to start off with our one year transition matrix. I'm going to add a row and column to that transition matrix to get some interesting uh, analytics. So let's go to our spreadsheet. I'm going to go to the next worksheet. I have our base transition matrix here. And what I did is I added another row and column. This is, this is not what's published by the credit, uh, credit rating agencies. However, for modeling, it's often very uh, useful to add another column called defaulted, another row called defaulted. I'll fill in zeros for defaulted row, except for the last one. I'll fill in zeros for defaulted and I'll change this number here to a zero, it was 100. So how can I read this? There's a AAA rated firm. These are the probabilities that a AAA rated firm will default in the first year. However, defaulted means that the bond had already defaulted. So there's a 0% chance that any of these bonds that are not in default will be defaulted had prior defaults uh, in, in previous years. However, if the bond is currently in default, there's a 100% chance I will just call that bond defaulted next year. And it's all, if it's already defaulted, there's a 100% chance it'll remain defaulted. Now, I'm going to take this transition matrix and I'm going to square it. How I'm going to do that is I'm going to highlight an area the same dimension as the initial transition matrix. I'm going to say equals M mult. I'm going to put in the transition matrix, comma. Let's put it in again. And control shift enter to enter that across an array. And here's some interesting data. I now have a two year transition matrix. So there's an 85% chance that a AA rated or triple A rated firm will be AAA rated two years later. Now here's a double A. I now, if I look at a one year probability, there's no probability based on this prior year's data. There's zero probability that a double A rated firm will default within one year. However, there's a 0.06% chance that a double A rated firm will default at the end of two years. If I look at my B rated bond, here's some interesting statistics. Notice there was 3.9% chance of B-rated bond defaulting in one year. If I look at this B row, there's a 3.9% chance, same, that that B-rated bond will be called defaulted in two years. In other words, this is the prior default probability. The 3.88%, we saw that before, that was in our last sheet. That 3.88% is the probability of the bond defaults in the second year. That 3.88 shows up right here. There's a B rate of bond. The probability that defaults in year two is 3.88. The probability it defaults, it already defaulted is 3.99. So by taking a matrix and multiplying it to an N, by the N power, you wind up creating an N year transition matrix. Now I'm going to show you a function. This function from the Beninga textbook takes any matrix called matrix and multiplies it n times. So let's insert that function. I already have it in our spreadsheet. So if we go to our module, you'll see I have option base one and matrix power is inserted in the function with YTM function and bond val function, which we'll use later. But now I can insert that function by selecting this whole area. I'm going to insert a function, user defined, and find matrix power. Matrix is the original matrix, not the squared one, and n is the number of per of number of periods. Hit hit number two, and then I'm going to hit Control Shift Enter. Well, let me try that again. While that's all up like that, I'm going to hit Control Shift Enter 
And there is the same thing that's above. This is the two-year transition matrix. However, this is much more powerful. What if I type in 30 as my N? This is now a 30-year transition matrix, which tells me there's a 4.47% chance that a AAA rated firm will default by the end of the 30th year. And my B rated bond, there's a 59% chance that that B rated bond will default within 30 years. Now, if you look at this column here, default versus defaulted, if I look at my B rated bond, there's a 0.78% chance that a B rated bond will default in the 30th year. There's a 59% chance that defaulted in years 1 through 29, so I should take that back. I need to add these two numbers together. There's a 60.24% chance that a B-rated bond defaults within the 30th by the end of 30 years. So this becomes very important because, like, like I said earlier, to calculate the, prob the uh, default adjusted cash flows for, say, a 30-year bond, I need to know the probability it defaults in every year, and this little tool this matrix power is going to help me do that. So in this topic, we used matrix algebra to create an n-period transition matrix using matrix power. The next topic will cal calculate an n-period model to compute default adjusted bond returns 